Good morning. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining me today on this Wake Up Wednesday. Father God, thank you for your presence, Lord. Thank you for the air in our lungs, Lord. I pray that you speak through me today, Father, in the glorious name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Wow. Today's message uh, is Philippians 3.8, the verse. It says, For Christ's sakes I have suffered and lost all things, which I call rubbish, in order that I may gain Christ. Hallelujah. I want us to understand that as long as we have God, the presence of God in our lives, we have anything and everything that we need. You see, Jesus was canceled so that you can be called. He was forsaken so that you could be forgiven. See, only God can take a test and turn it into a testimony. Only God can take a mess and turn it into a message. I pray that you understand that we have to stop looking at the problem and start focusing on the solution. We gotta stop looking at the disease and start releasing the cure in our lives. That cure is Jesus, honey. That's the name above every name in the universe. Hallelujah. He didn't die for you. He died as you. Oh my goodness, he reversed the curse of sin that we were walking in and that gave us access to the presence of God. It says that when Jesus died on the cross, the veil was torn from top to bottom, hallelujah, which gives us access to the presence. So that means that when you open your mouth and you're, oh my goodness, when you open your mouth, God hears you and it releases the power of God in your life. Do you understand how huge that is? We talked about that, right? The power, the supernatural power of God, that he overrides his natural law in this universe to, to perform miracles in your life. I don't know about y'all, but I like miracles in my life. <laughs> so I pray today that you release the word of God, that we release some miracles in our life, that we start moving some mountains in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, honey, I am on Wake Up Road and Awareness Avenue. Where are you at? Holla.